This never made much sense to me why people would shell out hundreds and hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars for the very rare and expensive Disney Cars Precision Series sets when they could just go out and buy a spin-out Lightning McQueen diecast and then they'd be set. You know, they'd have a little bit of the whole town in one car. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking, guys, but that is something to think about, you know. This guy pretty much is Lightning McQueen with the entirety of Radiator Springs strapped onto him. He's got to be one of the coolest diecast out there. He really is. But anyways, welcome on back to the Cars Garage, everyone. Today, of course, I have spin out the Lightning McQueen, his 2022 Thailand variant. This was the first and only so far time that he's been released from Thailand. And he looks incredible. Of course, Mattel first did him way back in the day in 2008 on the world. That was the World of Cars series, wasn't it? Yep. And they did him again in 2009, the following year, in the Race Rama series. Then they did him not until 2013 in the Radiator Springs Classics line, but in a four pack with Luigi and Guido. Well, Luigi and Guido is doing the wrong ones. And then Sheriff, too, I believe. And then they didn't do him until 2017 in the Daredevil Garage app box, which was almost like they were trying to make him like an exclusive car. I don't know why he wasn't. And then they did him again in 2018 in the Lightning McQueen box series. So it's been a little while since they've done him for sure. So this 2022 variant was definitely refreshing, especially because a lot of people didn't get those box Lightning McQueen thingies. I don't know, whatever to, whatever you want to call them. I didn't really like those things, those little Lightning McQueen boxes. And the Daredevil Garage app thing, I don't know where they sold that at, but they definitely didn't here in Canada. So yeah, I've always been wanting this car. And it took me a long time to get him, but I'm really glad they released him again in 2022. Very, very cool artwork there, you can see. So nicely animated. I mean, it's just right out of the film, really. Giant mouth. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He looks like a madman <laughs> going through Radiator Springs. He's got the tires over his windshield. He's got the electric fence all around him. That must hurt. Those are some big sharp pieces there i don't know what those are supposed to be i guess it's probably not an electric fence because this is radiator springs we're talking about i don't think they have electric fences <laughs> i think that was supposed to be the part that deters you away from the fence because it's supposed to hurt i guess it's like a thorn bush i guess i don't know i don't know what you call those fences but it looks pretty cool very nice artwork though probably one of the best mcqueen artworks they did flip it around for this release so i think it technically is new i guess they had to reanimate some parts of it because they flipped it around so I guess it's a little bit new. That's cool. And then the Red Riders background, of course, just your standard stuff. Not sure why they didn't put the Radiator Springs background. That would have looked way better and would have made a lot more sense. But whatever, you can already get a good glimpse of this guy. He's got some wood in the back there from the picket fence. Then he's got all of that really cool fence detailing around him. The eyes with the tires. That's so cool. So well thought out. They really did go all out with this diecast. It really is one of a kind. Then on the back, as seen in cars, and you can see a lot of other really cool releases like Marlon Clutches McKay, Winford Bradford Rutherford, even though they mislabel him as Bruce Miller. Artie we have, who I still need to get. I don't have Artie at all. Um, actually, I'd love to get that new variant of Winford too, because mine is really damaged. But whatever. Then we have Yellow Hydraulic Ramon, Brad Windmiller, Damage the King, the one and only, and Dexter Hoover with his checkered flag, of course. So many great Cars 1 variants, I gotta say, in 2022. It really wasn't a bad year at all. And then when you think about, you know, the extra brand new releases from Cars on the Road at the very end, it's like it wasn't a bad year. I feel like I think of it as a bad year, but it really wasn't for Cars Diecast, at least. It was a pretty great year. But anyways, yeah, I got this guy back in the day when he was new from 2022 Singles Case H. It's been about a year and a half since he's been out now, and I have another one now. This one's from the Dollarama, so I'm going to be opening it today because you know how Dollarama works. They keep getting in new cars for some reason. <laughs> Not really brand new, but, you know, within the last couple of years. I don't know why they're getting them in, but I don't even care. Let's just not ask questions. Let's just open this guy up right now and see how he looks. I bet you guys were probably just thinking how in the world I got this guy from the Dollarama because it wasn't actually in my videos. I never actually showed myself finding him. Well, that's because 
I didn't actually find him. My sister found him for me. I completely forgot about that. So thank you to my good old Biddy for finding this spin out Lady McQueen for me because I couldn't believe it. I got this guy like a year and a half ago and then to find him again, a dream come true. I really didn't think it would happen. But anyways, this car looks insane. I mean, they really went all out with him. They even put like a bevel, like you can actually feel it on all of these parts here where the like a uh, stringy fence is supposed to be. That's so wild. Every little bit of it is embossed. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. And the tires over the eyes. That looks cool. An amazing looking expression. I mean, look at the mouth. It's so wide open. <laughs> Very cool. The picket fence in the back. You can see the woods all tied up. That's so cool. They really went all out with this guy. Anyways, before we get too far into this review, though, I want to show you guys where McQueen appears at in the first Cars movie with this spin-out attire on. Of course, it's in the beginning. That's when he first enters Radiator Springs. So the first time, Sheriff's chasing him down Main Street, and then he's just crashing into things as he goes. He's going at full speed. He doesn't know where the heck he's at. And then he winds up, obviously, in the hydro wires, and Sheriff just comes rolling up to him and says, Boy... You're in a heap of trouble. <laughs> what a great scene, though. That is probably one of the best scenes in the first Cars movie, I think, at least. Anyways, though, yeah, let's zoom it on in and see what this McQueen has to offer. First off, the expression, obviously, looks absolutely stunning. The mouth is just amazing. It's so wide open, so animated looking. It doesn't really go too far back, which is kind of strange. I'm surprised they didn't do that, because in the same case, Keith Cohn was released. And he was brand new, that little burgundy minivan. And he has the deepest mouth you could possibly get. So it's a little strange to me that they didn't make McQueen's mouth deeper. But oh well, so it's good. His eyes, I'm not a big fan of them. Like his eyeballs are fine. They are a little far apart from each other. But they have to be, I guess, for the tires, obviously, to still not block them, I guess. But it looks cool. It looks fine from like an angle. But if you look at the eyelids, you'll notice that they didn't really change them. They look pretty much identical to just a regular McQueen's eyelids for the most part. Obviously, it's not a plastic eye plate on this one, so that's a different story there, but I don't know. It's kind of weird how it's, he still has like the hump on the right side or his, his left side, I guess. It just looks a bit strange to me if you really focus on that, but if you don't, it looks like a really cool McQueen. I think they could have just did like two humps on each side, just make them even and just try to hide that part right there because i don't know it just looks a bit strange to see the white <laughs> in there i don't know that's just me though i don't know the tires are really cool though they're just separate plastic pieces of course i think it's just one big separate plastic piece but very nice he's got the rusty's medicated bump ointment logo on his hood there for the rear end formula some of it's blocked by the cable there which is really cool even part of the headlight is embossed because of the wire <laughs> it goes over it 95 on the headlight there they didn't forget it He's got his lucky lightning bolt stickers there. Very cool. I just, I love this front part here with all the fence pieces of wire like crossing. That's so cool. And they painted every single bit of it too. Really cool. They really went all out with this guy. I know he's not like he's brand new or he wasn't in 2022, but still, it's just, it's a great variant for sure. The tires look good. Nice and bright red with the light year text on them. Unfortunately, the rims of the rim don't look that great, <laughs> but they never do. They always screw that part up, but oh well, it's fine. Like, just to compare, here is, uh, well, no, that's actually not a good comparison. That was Nature Drive McQueen. He's got, like, brown rims. But here's one from China, Cactus McQueen. We'll compare this guy to later, but you can just tell the rims are much, like, uh, they're actually duller, to be honest, but they just got every bit of them. You know, they painted every part, whereas they... These rims, I don't know, they always seem to miss some parts of them. But oh well, got the big old lightning bolt on the side, 95. Lightning McQueen's signature, then all of his contingency sponsors. Some of them are hard to make out. You can kind of see Nitro Raid, but it's hidden. Piston Cup's kind of hidden. And you can see Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin. And on the bottom, we got Little Turkey Pistons, RPM, Leak Less, Retread, and Clutch Aid. Don't know why I feel the need to read those every time I review McQueen. <laughs> it's not like you guys don't know what they say, but I don't know why I like to. And then they got the gas cap in the right spot. That's cool. Rusty's logo back there. So awesome. 95 on the top there. Plastic windows. There's the fence on the back. Looks really nice. 
separate plastic piece, of course. Actually, two separate plastic pieces. He got his rookie racing stripe in the back. Medicated bump ointment, it says. The taillights are very hard to see and the Rusty's logo back there. But you can kind of see it a little bit peeking out. And on this side, it is different than the other side, obviously. Because the cable is like covering different parts of him, which is cool. I really like it, though. It's cool to see like where the pieces kind of like knot together here. I think those are supposed to be like the... The sharp pieces, or is that just a wire connecting? Hard to tell. This part's not really embossed too much, but it still is a little bit. So that's cool. And they got the Rusty's logo on the spoiler, which is nice. Very cool. All around, just a really cool car. On the bottom, the base is a little bit of a different color, I feel like. It seems kind of more brown to me than black. He's only got one hole for Mater to tow him, but that makes sense. No hole in the back. And then R13A is the date stamp course all that legal jargon down there but i guess it makes sense why he doesn't have the hole now that i think of it because that thing is covering it but does it work it definitely does work you can get mater's tow hook in there very nicely and you can just tow him around like that and it's cool because his tow hook doesn't go where his mouth is so it's in the perfect spot that looks cool anyways let's compare him to some other mcqueen variants starting off with just a good old classic version of him from Thailand, obviously, we talked about the plastic eye plate not present on this new one. But that's understandable. And then all the decals are all the same. They're just covered up on this spin-out McQueen. <laughs> Very cool. And then obviously he only has one hole in the base instead of two. Here's another one I think is cool from Thailand, the road repair one. Not really all that similar, but thought I'd bring them out and compare the two. Just because they're both dirty. Radiator Springs versions of McQueen. <laughs> so they got that going for them. Other than that, they're not that similar, but they are cool. And then we got some Chinese McQueens. This is one of my favorite ones ever. This is Nature Drive McQueen. Really wish they'd do them from Thailand eventually. I think Thailand could do wonders with this guy because they're so great with like um, just making things look natural and dirty, rusty, stuff like that. So he's got all like kinds of leaves all over him. I think they could do a really good job with him. Especially, well, maybe not on his tires. I think China already did a perfect job on the tires. But <laughs> I like these McQueen variants when they have, like, stuff attached to them. Although I think Nature Drive McQueen is probably the one that has the most stuff attached to him. Just because there's so many individual leaf pieces there. <laughs> As you can tell, big old leaf clumps. Then we have Tumbleweed McQueen. I think he should be more dirty and detailed in that area just like on his like near his bottom and everything because he's just i don't know he looks a bit too clean for my liking and the tumbleweed just looks like a piece of lettuce but they are doing him in 2024 i actually have him probably review him soon if i can get a second one and then we have cactus mcqueen another one who has a bunch of pieces on him but these ones are actually all metal so that's cool it's kind of like the pieces of fence on this guy it's all actually a part of the main metal body so that's cool and then yeah, nothing on the back for some reason. I thought there was more cactus or cacti pieces back there, but there's not. Anyways, yeah, cool expression on this McQueen too. But this McQueen's got a great expression, probably one of the best ones, to be honest. I really like it. I don't think there's a whole lot else to talk about, though, with him. Tell him around with Mater a little more, because why not? Mater actually doesn't see McQueen when he's in this state, this spin-out state. He hasn't met McQueen yet until the morning after. That's when he meets him. But let's bring Sheriff up here. He can put McQueen in the impound lot. <laughs> and Luigi and Guido. Fillmore and Sarge. They can talk about the good old traffic light. And how it blinks slower on every third time. <laughs> Anyways though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of good old spin out Lightning McQueen. I think it's one of my favorite Lightning McQueen variants to be honest. Let's put Mayor back there. Why not? I just think he looks so cool and so well detailed and hopefully he gets a re-release sooner or later but if not i don't think he's that hard to find on 2022 cards so you should be able to find him on ebay pretty easily for about 20 to 30 bucks anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time right here on the cars garage